Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and welcome to another episode of Music Video Editing Breakdown. This is a series where I go through a music video, pick out a couple of cool editing tricks that are seen in the video, and show you guys how to recreate them or at least get a similar look with some different techniques. So this is episode 4. If you guys are liking the series so far, make sure you like, subscribe if you're not yet, and let's get into it. So today we're going to be doing Migos, Bad and Bougie. This is a very popular song and video, and their album's coming out today, so why not? So in the video, the three effects that I'm going to pick out are how to do that flashing intro text, how to get that soft yellow tint on the color grading, and also how to do that cut to the beat, like boom, boom, boom style editing that you see in some of the shots. So I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro for this whole video, and I've got a couple of example clips laid out on the timeline. So let's start with that flashing text intro. In order to create a new text title, let's go to File, New, Title, and then we can type out whatever we want. So instead of writing Migos and Lil Uzi Vert or whatever, I'm going to write Subscribe, all right, because I want you guys to subscribe. So I'm going to highlight this, and then if you go to the Title Properties or look up here in the panel, you can adjust a few things about the writing. So I can change the font to something more skinny like in the video or whatever you want. I'm just going to use good old Times New Roman in italic. Use whatever font you want. In the video, they had like kind of a skinny, tall text that was similar to this, but I'm not sure exactly what font they used. So once you have your text written out and your font chosen, highlight it, and then we can pick a color. So if, if we open up the title properties on the right-hand side, the title properties menu, we can click on the color, double-click it, and choose a color. So I'm going to do a gold yellow like it was in the video. Now, if you want, you can do further things like add shadows and things like that, but I'm just going to leave it at that. And if I open up the title actions section, I can center it or in the title properties menu, you can move the X position and the Y position to place it wherever you want. So let's place it right there in the corner and let's minimize that. And you should see that your new title has popped up in your project media bin for us to click and drag onto a track in our project. So now that I have the title in place, I want to figure out how to flicker it in and get that flickering transition. So this is really simple actually. I'm just going to go to the very start of the clip and then grab my razor tool with the C shortcut or you can also find the cut tool over here. Make a cut one frame over and then make another cut another frame over and then make one more cut. So you have the first three frames cut into their own section. Then I'll just grab my move tool with V and delete the middle section here. So what that'll do is it'll create a quick flicker on. And then you also see in the music video that there's some shift in the size of it. So in this third and longer section, what we can do is adjust the scale of it and make it a little bit bigger and then move the position so it aligns back to where it was. And what that'll give you is that flickering start to the text. And then when you want the text to go away, you could just do the same thing on the other end. Press C to chop it and then go one frame to the left another frame to the left, and then delete that one frame over. And next, I'm going to show you how to create that yellow tint and color grading that you saw in the video. So here's another clip that I have in the timeline. It's shot in more of a daytime setting, like the beginning of the video. And in order to get that yellow color tint, it's pretty simple. So let's open up the Lumetri Color tab on the right-hand side, and let's go to the Curves section. Now, you can apply adjustments directly onto clips, or if you want, and what I'm going to do is highlight the project media bin and go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. This will give us a blank adjustment layer for us to click and drag over however many clips or cuts that we want, and then apply the color effects onto this adjustment layer instead, and they'll affect everything beneath it. So in the Lumetri Color tab, in order to get that yellow tint, just open up the Curves tab and then go to the blue color channel. Now we're just going to pull the blues out of the highlights in the blue color channel about a quarter of the way down. And what that does is since we pulled the blues out of the blue color channel in the highlights, it replaces it with a yellow tint. And then if you want, you can go through and adjust things on the overall red, green, blue color channel, like the overall contrast of different sections. But really the basic color grading in the video is just kind of a yellow tint for some parts. Again, you can go to the basic correction. If you want, you can adjust the exposure and the contrast 
But basically, all you have to do for the majority of this effect is pull the blues out of the highlights in the blue color channel, pull that line down, and then you can go through and tweak the rest of the colors to your liking. So now that we have that yellow tint, I'm going to show you how to create those choppy, boom, boom, boom type of edits to the beat. So in the actual music video, you see a lot of nice slow motion shots, and that's done in camera by shooting with a really high frame rate. But when you're working with those slow motion shots, they do that jump cut effect by finding points in the music. So I have this music track here. You find points in the music that you want to cut or sync to. And you can kind of see it in the waveform, but just listen to the music over and over. And then grab your razor tool, make a cut on those points, and then I can move forward to a point where some significant movement has happened, make another cut, delete that section, and then just pull the rest of the clip over and repeat. So what that'll do is it'll create these jumps in time exactly when the beat hits. So let's play this back and see how it looks. So you can see how it jumps and the car kind of goes boom, boom, boom. And it would look really nice in a super smooth slow motion if you shot it in a really high frame rate on the camera. Now another way that they cut and edit to the beat in the music video is by making each hit get bigger in scale. So you could do this by either cutting each section and then going into the clip and then actually making the scale 10% bigger each time. Or what you could do is go on the clip create a keyframe for the scales, so toggle animation so we can create keyframes, and then move over to the point where the beat or whatever you're trying to sync to is, and then adjust the scale to be a little bit larger, so let's say 115, that'll create a little zoom or bump. However, in order to make it not a gradual or linear transition from one keyframe to the next, you wanna right click and change the transition types to hold. That'll mean that it'll hold on this position until it actually gets to that next keyframe and then it'll automatically bump up. So if we do that and create a couple bumps, 115, then we'll go to 130, then we'll move over and we'll go to 145. Then you can see it'll create a similar type of increase in scale like in the original music video. So those are a couple of my favorite effects from the music video and how to recreate them. If you guys like this video, definitely leave a like on it below. And there's also a ton of other effects in the music video like basic time remapping and slow to fast forward motion effects, which I have covered in other videos before. So make sure you check out the rest of those on my channel, subscribe for more, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that, at Justin Odi Show, if you guys wanna send me any links or anything like that. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.